Well, it appears that um, they've seen through my disguise for now, so perhaps it would be a better option to return later. Let's get back on the road at this point and then continue heading down south. After we pass this next camp, it should be safe to start running again. Or I guess they'll see me. That did not sound good. And it wasn't. It also did not sound good. Hmm, let's make some grilled mantis like this stuff's always good. I think I'm set for ammo right now. No, wouldn't mind repairing the guard armor some more. All right, let's head out toward Prim. Must be it right there, the large l roller coaster. Places are you active? Best you're clear of that. Mm, red roach. harvesting it for meat though. Stuff tastes nasty. I'll let this one go if oh guess he doesn't want to live.
And what a shame. I would have let him live too. Here's that NCR outpost the uh, townsfolk mentioned. Guess I'll stop in here. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Thanks for the warning. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Alright. There's anything good in it. And who do you happen to be? I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from the hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. All right then, see ya. Sir. Hey. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any other information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Er, no, I guess I don't. See you, Ace. Sir. Well... I need to get into that town. And since Powder Ganger is over there seen to my disguise, I'll probably have to wait a few days before I try again. So, I guess my only option now is to um, single handedly attempt to free Prim. Here goes nothing. Shit, mines. I guess I won't get blown up crossing this bridge.
looks like this place is still inhabited. At least the owner hasn't died yet. Not in there. make ammo yet. <sighs> that poor couple. Time to make the power gamers pay. Pistols in this good a condition, I might as well start using this. See, no. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Oh well, no, I, I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I sure do. What can you tell me about this job? Oh. You're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Cowboy robot. Victor? Hmm. Anyways, this courier, he cancelled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, it almost did. Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that, and turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Can't think of anybody I've really angered that I have a history with, but 
Um, some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Alright, I want to ask you something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Where can I get information on the man that shot me? Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Uh, what can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Why do you keep calling them the gangsters? I thought they were powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. You have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Can't say I'll be needing dynamite right now. AP rounds might still come in handy. A more overpressure rounds. Always up for another mag. Get that pistol repaired up so it's maybe semi useful then. How many rounds do I have right now? I may not need to buy more. Hundred eighteen, I think I'm good for now. Can't really for anything else. So um Pleasure it? doing business with you. I have some questions about Prim. Well I'll answer what I can. Do you know where I can find the courier office? Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways I did before things went to hell around here. Ask some more questions about Prim. Ask away. What happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town. But then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. I want to ask you more about Prim. Ask away. What's that Vicky and Vance? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. I want to ask you one more thing about Prim. Ask away. It's the Bison Steve. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. 
Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. All right, then. See ya. Don't go getting yourself shot. I'll do my best. Hydra. That's a rare drug. One that's actually somewhat useful. Old time to rescue this deputy beagle. much value in here. It's a safe, but it's much too difficult for me to unlock right now. That book will be good reading later, perhaps. a lock I can pick. sell some of this off. Bit heavy to haul, but won't be hauling for long.
purified water, that's a rare thing to encounter in the wastes. Uh, if I can't run, I might as well haul whatever I can. You must be Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you have some information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Well, then I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Thought you were a man of the law, Beagle. More purified water. Alright, Miguel, I'll see you to safety, and I'll clear out the rest of those rascals. I keep my armor in tip-top shape. Never understand why gangers have to put their graffiti up all over the place. Over here. And guess I didn't get them all. Good work, Beagle. I think we got all the ones on this floor, for now at least. Hey there. Uh... Did you become a woman beagle? Anyways, there's the casino. Just a short walk away now. Man, more time passed than I thought. It's already nighttime. That was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. I thank you, Deputy Beagle.